Good morning everyone, Decent Turtle Dove, welcome to my channel. Well, it is a beautiful, sunny and still Thursday morning, 7.55am and I thought I would come on quickly and just show you what I've been up to and I also want to show you my fairy garden, if you've watched a Timu haul of mine. Uh, I bought some little garden fairies so someone asked if I would show once I put them in the garden so we'll go out and do that in a moment as well. Plus I'll just quickly show you what I've been thinking of uh, starting as far as some Halloween themed cross stitching, what I have planned for that. But first, I want to show you this beautiful peacock that I've been working on. It is almost finished. I may do another whip with you. I thought that's why I left the head. I'll just zoom in. So it's the top corner there where the roses are. Still needs to be done, the very corner, the big rose. Um, and the neck and part of the head of the peacock. So, but it's, I'm actually standing on a chair just so that I can get the whole, the full shot of the canvas on because it's quite big canvas. But he is gorgeous all the ABs. Now let me get closer and I'll just get off this chair. Okay, now I'll move around a little bit so you can just see the beautiful ABs in the feathers. Absolutely gorgeous and there's plenty of ABs in the flowers as well and in between but the highlight I think are the feathers so yeah I've just got this rose here to do and a bit of the background and then yeah I may do a little whip just concentrating on this area um, but I have been enjoying this the drills do tend to slide a little bit because it's such a big painting, you do have to lean on it. So I've been using some of that special release paper and that helps a bit. But uh, when I finish a section, I just use the roller and just make sure they're pressed down pretty good. Now look, this is an example. But this is my fault because when I was working on this top end, I sort of roll this up loosely and look what I've done so they do slide off quite easily so I will be um, finishing this off with a protective sealer of some sort when I've finished and I've asked my daughter if she would like this because she absolutely loves birds I was going to put this in the bedroom because my theme, I have some peacock feathers in a vase and I love roses. So that's sort of my bedroom theme going on there. But I, I thought she would like this one. She's like me, she's running out of wall space. <laughs> but anyway, let's go outside and I'll show you. Uh, I've had to clean up the garden and cut a lot of things down. So there's not a lot of a lot of flowering plants at the moment but I will show you the fairy garden now this isn't the fairy garden but um, I have been cleaning up this shelf just in readiness for the warmer months it's been sitting there all winter gathering dirt and all sorts of stuff I repotted a few things so
my strawberries are coming along nicely. Hopefully I'll get a lot of strawberries. They're all different varieties. This one's the pink flowering. The other ones here, yeah, I don't know the, the names of each sort, but I've been cutting away at the chives and drying them. So, this is what I've done with the fairy garden. More or less the same. But I did have to repaint the big red mushroom there and seal that. And I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but there's I added some glitter to that. So it looks really nice now. It was so faded. And there's one of my fairies that I bought from Timu. Those little green stones are glow in the dark, so it does look nice in the evening. It's another fairy on a rock. There's one sitting just admiring the garden. I made that little fairy house with polymer clay a few years ago, so I thought I'm sick of seeing that in the drawer in my craft room, so that's part of the garden now. And I have this stuff growing everywhere. I have it in a pot, but I think it just seeds all over the place, so I'm just letting that go. Normally, this is a beautiful daisy bush, um, but I've cut that right back. So hopefully that'll come back again. It just gets too leggy. And maybe I've cut it down too soon, I'm not sure. But that green mushroom lights up at night and flashes different colours. And there's another fairy sitting amongst the garden. But I do like how that mushroom turned out. So that's that little section. Then I have my tortoise. And this one looked a right mess. So I had to redo this. The fairies in this garden have faded. So I'll have to paint them. I just haven't had time. But I have some miniature mushrooms there, the red with the white dots. I made those out of polymer clay. And the yellow, green and red mushroom, the bigger ones, I bought those from Sheen a couple of years back. I have a little faux succulent there with a ladybird in the middle, a little bridge. And I love that cute little pink flower. With the bird on it. And those yellow stones are real gems and I just can't remember what type of gem it is. A crystal, I should say. And around that I placed some of those glow-in-the-dark pebbles. So... Yeah, I want to put some more lights around the place. Because the girls love looking at these. So that's that. And then I have this little pot next to my gargoyle who protects the fairies. <laughs> I've got a couple there. And it's another little fairy house that's overrun by the cactus there. So next winter I might have to move that at the back of the pot but yeah, just added some more of those little gold chips 
because they do tend to fade. There was a path around here, but this is really done well. There's a guitar just behind that plant there, leaning up against the fairy house. And there's some crystals and a blossom tree that I added. Another little fairy house. So that's my updated fairy garden. Now let's go in and I will show you what projects I want, want to cross stitch next. Okay, so this is turning out to be a longer video. <laughs> but anyway, guys, um, right, so I have had so many um, PR packages come in. They all tend to come in at once. And it's exciting because I just want to cross-stitch everything that I get and diamond paint. But these are four that I've chosen, especially from now till the end of October. Um, I'm going to start... All of these, I don't know when I'll finish them. This one will probably be a year-long project because it's so big. I adore this. Um, just do go and watch the review from the, my latest review from Biggest Craft if you want to see this close up. Yeah, definitely I'm going to start this and this will be a year-long project. This one I'll probably start very soon and I'll do that on camera. She is adorable and there's a lot of blocking in here so it's not going to be too complicated. Um, so yep, I'll be starting her. And this one is the counter cross stitch. So this will probably be on and off during the year as well. We'll see how we go. Sometimes I say I'll take a while and you know, I just want to sit there and work on it. So I've had a few health issues lately and I haven't been doing a lot of cross stitch. It's it just so easy just to diamond paint, um, which is what I've been working on that peacock a lot. I also want to try this. This is a small one, so I hope to finish this um, before the end of October for Halloween season. Um, and I want to get a good chunk of this done so yeah and on top of that it's so hard guys just to decide what I want to start but this will be a gift for someone so I want to start on that in between everything so you might me see me doing a whip on that one and also this one will be for my coffee tea station eventually when I decide to find a piece of furniture suitable. But I want to start on that one as well. So, And then of course we've got Christmas coming up. I haven't even accounted for that yet. But yeah, these were in my maybe pile that they might just have to wait. That's the spring brand 11 count. And of course these cute geese. And yeah, I really wanted to start this one as well, but I can only start so many, so, and I don't want to have like a dozen on the go, but I can see myself having to do that, especially with Christmas coming up. Sorry about the glare. It's the light directly above the dining table, so. Anyway, that's it for today, so, yeah, hopefully I'm going to get a chance to sit and do some cross-stitch soon um, I just wanted to catch you up with what I've got planned and what I've been doing and yeah a viewer did want to see the fairy garden so have a wonderful day or evening wherever you are everyone and yeah stay safe and we will see you in the next video bye for now